Like when I was younger, uh, 20 years old or 21 years old, I told my wife at the time, you know, I cheated on her. I told her. And it was after she said, you know, I'm pregnant with your son. And I was like, well, you know, I just, since we, you know, you know, being honest and shit with each other, um, I stepped outside of our marriage, you know, because I didn't really understand what love was, you know, at the time. I mean, hell, I still really don't understand it. I just, I'm learning aspects of love and what I deem love to be for, my, yeah. for myself because I think love is subjective to the individual. Correct. You know I mean? agree with that. But, you know, like, I was honest with her. I didn't have to tell her anything because I wanted a clean slate. I wanted, I wanted my conscience clean. You know, I wanted our relationship to be solid. And, and it wasn't that it that led to a whole bunch of other issues because I was so honest, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I was honest. Honesty is, uh, honesty is, up, uh, upfront honesty is easier to work with than, uh, you know, too late honesty. Mm -hmm. It's too, just, just too fucking late now. Then mm -hmm. that shit is difficult. So back to that whole trans situation, you kiss this person, and I mean like intimately kiss this person, and then like, hey, look, no, 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 wait, 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 before we go any further, I gotta let you know, I was born a man. Do you fight? Do you definitely you, don't fight. Like, what do you do? That's do you cry? Fucking, do you? That's not the crying games. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yell? Do you, do you, like, how do you? Nah, I'd be like, what the fuck, dude? And then I'll fucking. Dude, huh? Yeah, you do. Now, now. you told me you do, you do. <laughs> you do, now. So I'm spitting. So does that make you a homosexual? No, that just makes me a straight man. Don't make me like that, a homophobic. Yeah. Don't make me afraid of Sexuality people. is, yes. I wouldn't say that it makes you a homosexual, because sexuality is a choice. You didn't make that choice. Yeah. That person made but that choice. They forced it to upon you. Trick you, mm -hmm. in a sense. So no, it doesn't make you a, a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make, and you, it homophobic. Doesn't make you homophobic neither. <sighs> well, okay. No, yeah, homophobic no, is where because you're, like, where your um, homophobic really no, means I would tell like you, you hate you hate gays. Homophobic is a whole nother. That's a whole nother uh, uh, category. You understand what I'm saying? Um, just being discriminant towards homosexuals is being discriminant. That's like a motherfucker who, who's racist. They discriminate against a certain race. You understand what I'm saying? Homophobia is like you fucking walk into the store and you, you, you know, you minding your business. You go sit down and you get your coffee and a motherfucker walk in and it's like, hey, everybody. And you just like, oh, my gosh. Like you fucking get scared. You start cowering or you start feeling some way. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. <clears throat> That's homophobia. It, it it scared you or gave you a phobia to the point where it's got you acting different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's fucking, I don't know. That's... It's been thrown out of context today. Yeah. No, for sure. There's a phobia behind everything. There's fat phobias, everything. Body shaming. Body shaming. I mean, just honestly, all right, I'm, I'm going to just be real here. Okay. You know, Andrew Tate, the a lot of people talking about his preference choice, right? And then they always ask the women about clothing. Like, don't you have a fair, favorite pair of jeans that makes your ass look real nice? They're like, yeah. So didn't you choose that one over the other pairs of jeans? Right? Just like they, they have this, this thing, this height requirement to ride the ride. You got to be at least six feet to ride this five foot five ride. You know what I mean? Like, come on, right? That's a preference. So my thing is, preference-wise, 
what is too big for you? For a woman, what is too big? <laughs> Where would you not go? I would, like, what do you mean, would I not? Height, what, weight. What would I not? What would I not? Height, height and weight, okay? What, height, we'll are we say. Talking, we talking sex or we talking marriage? Well, no, we're talking body size, like your yeah. partner. Yeah, but for life or just for one night? For life. I know you'll fuck anything. 